the previous videos we have done with definition operations uh, program using array and execution then linked list and complexity now we'll to try to do these two things reverse of a number using a stack first we'll make it this and after that we'll go for string palindrome using stack hello everyone welcome to our channel csc gurus so now we'll see the reverse of a number program using stack of course in general we can see but we learned actually about stack so that's why how to make it we'll try to apply that what i want to do here is uh, i'll take the help of the program which we implemented already with respect to the stack that means the stack implementation where i want to modify the things so that how you can get the reverse of a number we'll see here okay the first thing how that process the logic i want to make it is i'll take a variable n what is n value let us suppose it is asking actually you have to take a number i'll take 2854 so this is a number i want to find the output of this one is reverse of this the reverse of this is 4582 the output should be 4852 4582 so this is the output so the logic is simple here anyway i'll supply the stack of course there is no infinite supply of stack size and there i'll take each and every digit into the stack that means i'll push each and every digit one by one four will be pushed next five will be pushed next eight will be pushed next two will be pushed once it is done once it is done i want to write the program like so what is that sum what is the number is equals to that number whatever the digit the top of the stack i'll make it that is let us suppose it is two initially uh what we'll make it is 2 into i where i is every time is uh multiplied by 10 i'll tell you that process and the current digit current popping out what is it 2 into i and what is the value so it is something like s equals to s plus 2 into i what is i initially 1 i mean i, I initially 1 next i value will become 10 next i value will become 100 like this so you can see here what is i initially 1 So two into one, anyway, s is zero. Two into one plus zero, which is s equals to two. Now, when I take eight, when I pop it, when I'll get eight. So when I get eight as my uh, value, okay. So now here eight will be there. Eight into i. What is eight into i? So i value will become ten. Eight into ten, eighty plus two, eighty-two. So next five, five into hundred, you'll get it. 500 plus 82 582 next 4000 582 you will get it anyway i will try to write the program i'll clearly write the logic okay uh, before that i'll take here and anyway i'm supplying the 100 elements 100 digits you can store stack of 100 means no need of giving stack is full okay uh, not like this stack is empty is also not required and this part i'll remove no need of switch cases here like this so Anyway, I'll tell you here. So, first thing, what we need, we need to give our input, which is int n is my input a number. So, I need to read the number from the user. Once you get the number, you need to find digit for that. So, digit which is again a remainder, which I want to store. So, while your n is not equal zero, that means I'll take each and every digit here. You can see, I'm finding first what is r equals to r equals to n percentile ten. which is nothing but a digit you can see the digit once you get the digit yes push of r the digit can be taken first push of r means the digit whatever is taken you are pushing into the stack so now when you push into the stack every digit will be pushed and after that you have to update n equals 10 by 10 of course this is a process where 2854 you will get 4 first Okay, four will be pushed into the stack. Next, two thousand eight fifty four will become two to two high two eighty five. Why? Because n equals ten by ten. So it's something like this. I'll write two thousand eight fifty four. R equals to what? Four. You will get it. I pushed into the stack. N equals ten by ten, which is two eighty five. Next, R value five. So pushed into the stack. Next, two eighty five by ten, which is twenty eight. Like this, each and every digit until n is zero. You have made it. now once it is done anyway i want to write push function here what is push function there is no condition to is full and there is no else but simply you have to push into the stack so simply stack of uh, plus plus top like this you can make it and you can get that value 
into the uh, stack like this now after giving this after giving this you have to pop it one by one until what you have to pop it each and every digit and you have to take that so for that I need write the loop again you can see while or for loop also you can write whatever so while you have to make it I'll write this condition at the last I'll tell you first thing you have to take the first digit what is the top of the stack digit so top of the stack which I'll take it as uh, I'll first pop it so when I pop I'll get a digit am I right I'll get a digit which has to be written right so I'll write here before popping before popping I'll write what is the top of the stack I'll take in a when one variable okay which is a digit so I'll take it as D is a variable so D is equals to stack of top so stack of top whatever is there I'll take here so what is top of the stack is 2 you will get it right now I'll make it sum sum is equals to I told you what is the top of the stack you got it D into I what is I so I I have to take I value initial anyway here sum is initialized to 0 I is initialized to 1 I'll take D variable so D into I plus sum what is the sum initially or D into I plus yes so now you will get the sum once you get the sum pop here pop means what happens top, top of the stack 2 will be deleted now anyway I value to be updated I is equals to I into 10 you can see like this and now you can see it goes on like this while again it takes a 8 next okay I'll go like this I'll try to write it what how this can be executed what is the top of the stack 2 so now you can see d is equals to 2 here s equals to d into i 2 into i value 1 so 2 into 1 2 plus s 0 which is 2 now now pop means 2 will be deleted your top will be here automatically and i value will become 10 now okay now s equals to d what is d now top of the stack 8 8 into 10 80 80 plus what is the s value previously to 82 now next time pop means your top will come here now i equals to 100 so now s equals you can see d what is d 5 5 into 100 500 500 plus s value 82 582 now next one s equals to 4 that is d value 4 4 into i value will become 1000 4000 plus 582 4000 plus 582 which is 4005 82 so like this you will get it so this is what the process will happen here now what about pop shall I update pop function here let us see how to update so never in don't write it is empty not required this one and else part is also not required don't print which is deleted simply you write pop in the sense top minus minus so like this and anyway no need to display the button display button is not required what are the digits in the stack which are not required and top element which is also not required no need to check everything so only push and pop operations like this you can make it and finally of course here while condition is you have not written when you have to stop this one when your stack is empty so you can write while top is equals to minus one so that means you have to stop there right so all the digits in the stack is over so while top is not equals to minus 1 you have to stop that means while top is not equals to minus 1 you have to do like this when it is minus 1 you have to make it this one so anyway top which is a variable which is a global it will be updated every time you can make it see here it's not like I'm taking the next digit by popping I'm taking the next digit you can say that is what the stack you need to so when you want to take the in uh, elements you have to pop it then only the other than the top of the stack the next element you will get it so every time what is the top of the stack you will get it so I'll try to execute this one whether we'll get it successfully and before that we didn't print right so in the main function we have to print it what is to be printed printf percentile ding what is the number sum finally 
which has to be printed which is the reverse let us try with this any errors anything i'll give a number 56783 yes you can see 38765 so like this you can get it take another example so i'll give some number as 548 yes 845 perfectly fine so like this easily you can write with respect to the concept of stack here you can see the entire code and you can execute so this is what the concept i'm using push and pop operation i've taken an array where the elements are taken into the stack when you pop when you want to get each and every digit i use the concept of pop don't go for for loop and take the next element which is not the exact uh, what you call it as concept of stack when you pop it then only you will get the next element